This is a recording on hypothesis testing, one sample t-test, and this is a one-tail test. The personnel department of a company developed an aptitude test for screening potential employees. The person who devised the test asserted that the mean mark attained would be 100. The following result were obtained with a random sample of applicants. Sample mean X bar is 96. Sample standard deviation S is 5.2. Sample size N is 13. Test this hypothesis against the alternative that the mean mark is less than 100 at the 1% significant level. Let's set up our hypothesis. The null hypothesis H0 is mu equal to 100. Since our data suggests that the mean mark is less than 100, so our alternative hypothesis is mu less than 100. The level of significance for this one tail test is 1% or 0 0.01 as given by the question. Now we will decide where is the critical region, where sigma is unknown and n is equal to 13 which is small because it is less than 30 now. So we must use the t tables instead of standard normal distribution table. With 1% significant level and one tail, for t-table, there is a degree of freedom. Which is equal to n minus 1 or 13 minus 1, which is 12. And from the table, we find out that this critical value is negative 2.68. If the test statistic is less than negative 2.68, then we reject the null hypothesis. This is how we obtain the critical value of negative 2.68 from the t distribution table. Table 2 is a table for t distribution and we have a one tail test here. So our alpha will be one tail, one percent. Our degree of freedom, which is V here, is equal to twelve. So we move down to look for degree of freedom 12, 1%, 1 tail is 2.68. So that means that this number is 2.68. And since we are looking at the opposite side, so this value is negative 2.68. To calculate the test statistic, which is t now, equal to x bar minus mu over s over square root n, which is 96 minus 100 over 5.2 over square root of 13. This is equal to negative 2.77. Negative 2.77 is less than negative 2.68. Therefore, the test statistic is less than the critical value. So we do reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the mean bar is less than 100.